So last night it got dark on me, but I did manage to get uh, four of these logs out of the woods. I tell you what, I was really pawing coming up that hill. Now this stuff isn't real heavy, but four logs on one trip, you know, I was about maxed out there. Matter of fact, this red pine, I'm guessing this is probably around, I don't know, 24, 25 pounds per cubic foot, something like that. And like red oak, like this stuff here, red oak's probably 58 or 60 pounds per cubic foot, you know, green. I mean, this is a big difference here. Very, very heavy compared to this pine. Now, I'm not real familiar with all the woods that they have out west. If you're from out west, let me know. But I know I've seen pictures of guys, you know, on forums or Facebook pages where they have pickup trucks and they have like these cages on them. And they have these big, you know, loads of firewood. It's all split, stacked above the cab. So I'm guessing whatever it is, it weighs about the same amount as this red pine, maybe a little bit more, because unless your trucks are different, there is no way that you could have a load of uh, red oak stacked up that high. I don't even care if it's a one-ton truck, just be way too much weight. But anyway, before it gets dark, which is going to happen pretty quick, we're going to head back down. I've got two more uh, logs I'll get out of there. They're not real big, but I also want to head over the other hill there and show you those Norway spruce we talked about. One thing nice about uh, this section of trail right here, there's a lot of shale right here. This section here is actually kind of drying up a little bit. It's not too bad, but that's all going to change this weekend again. It's going to uh, rain, I think, quite a bit there Friday and Saturday. And it's actually supposed to snow, I think, tomorrow night. Basically, it looks like more of the same. But right through this area here, I don't know if you can see, I got a little spring kind of pops out of the hill. That was pretty hairy there last night carrying those four logs out of here. Anyway, we're almost down here. I'll probably drag that one log out real quick, and then uh, before it gets dark, we'll head over there and check out those uh, Norway spruce. These ones aren't real big, but uh, we ought to get a little something out of them. So that makes six logs out of that one red pine, and they are all about uh, 10 feet, 6 inches long. And there's probably another 40 feet left, 50 feet of tree left. I might be able to get one more log out of it. So that one is probably a little over 100 feet tall. All right, we're going to head over this way. Uh, about 100 yards over there, some pretty big red pine. And then about another hundred yards from there are those big Norway spruce. I think I walked by this oak not too long ago. Look at the size of that one. Big red oak.
Here's one of those red pines. This one's dead. But there's a lot of those red pines in here. There's some pretty good size ones right over here. Boy, that's a big one right there. That one there is probably 28 inches in diameter, something like that. Same with that one. Now this one here, I need to remember where that one is right there. That's a decent sized tree and it's dead, but I don't think it's been dead real long. Uh, it should still be okay to use. Be worth trying see I can get to this area from up that way I got a trail that comes down to within about a hundred yards up there something like that and if it's uh, frozen on I can get real close to this you know at least within 100 feet or so and with the Wallenstein skidding winch I could get that one out no problem well there's a bunch of dead ones in here I need to get out this is what I was talking about they're just kind of dying off, so I might as well uh, put them to use. There's two more dead ones right there. It's really pretty down in here. I love it down in this area. Look at this one. Rotting up, going to waste. Little hemlock. We don't have a whole lot of them. Almost fell there. More dead red pine. Now these are those Norway spruce. I hope you can see it okay. I know it's getting pretty dark. And look at this beautiful oak tree right here. Look at the size of this thing. Hope you can see that okay. These things are massive. And they're scattered all through here. And there's a whole bunch over there. And several of those ones had the tops knocked out of it. I don't know if they're still good or not. And I'm like, look at this big one here. I think this was a red pine. It's dead. I don't know if this one's still any good or not. Big trees down in here. If you remember that real nice cherry that we uh, we saw it on the wood miser not too long ago, that came from up the top of that hill there, as far as you can see. Not at the very top; it was down over the hill, but that's where that one came from. I'll have to see what this looks like uh, when I edit this video. If it's too dark, I'll come back down here another time and give you a better look at this stuff. But uh, yeah, those are those Norway spruce right there. The ones that are all green big trees like that one there those two they got to be i'll tell you they're 120 130 feet tall something like that but yeah this area right in here is one of the uh main spots for like softwoods here on the property everything else is pretty much oak cherry and maple We got a cherry tree here, pretty nice cherry tree. I remember when I was a kid, this used to be super thick in here. It's really opened up over the years.
So I hope that red pine uh, saw is relatively easy and it works out okay for like some drying sheds and stuff because we have a lot of it. But yeah, I need to find a way to get down in this area right here. There's a lot of dead trees down here that are going to go to waste. It'd be great to get them out of here. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. Like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.